The Monterey Bay area in California is a place of beauty with a rich history dating back centuries. The area is famous for places like the Pebble Beach Golf Course, the Lone Cypress on 17 Mile Drive, the Point Pinos Lighthouse dating from 1855, Pacific Grove and the Monarch Grove Sanctuary for Monarch Butterflies, Cannery Row, which was immortalized by John Steinbeck's novels, and the subject of this video, the world-renowned Monterey Bay Aquarium. This aquarium is a non-profit public aquarium located in Cannery Row, Monterey, California. Known for its regional focus on marine habitats of the Monterey Bay, it was the first to exhibit a living kelp forest when it opened in October 1984. The aquarium is dedicated to marine research and ocean conservation and is renowned for its interactive exhibits and ability to present marine life in a truly grand scale. It has over 35,000 creatures representing over 550 sea life and marine species. The aquarium was built on the site of the Hoveton Cannery, a sardine cannery which closed in 1973. An effort was made to preserve as much of the original cannery as possible, with the facility being constructed around the cannery's boiler house. There are several displays within the aquarium that highlight the history of the cannery and the era it represented. Designing the building within the confines of the old cannery required nearly half of the building to reside over the bay. The aquarium's exhibits are spread over two floors with some of the exhibit tanks vertically spanning both levels. A space within the lobby area of the aquarium called the Marine Mammal Gallery area houses life-size models of whales and dolphins swimming overhead. There are just a few exceptional presentations highlighted in this video and they only represent a small portion of those at the aquarium. These are the kelp forests, the otters, open sea, and seabirds. In addition to these immersive experiences, there is an open space overlook on the bay that connects the visitors to the natural view of Monterey Bay. On the second floor is a set of displays that allows the visitor to visualize some of the aquarium's research and educational efforts. Plastic in the ocean is the most revealing and disheartening of these displays, as it brings into focus the magnitude of the problem of plastic in the oceans. One of the most spectacular features of the aquarium is the 28-foot-high kelp forest. It is one of the tallest aquarium exhibits in the world. Giant kelp plants form dense, sunlight-draped forests that sway rhythmically in the cool waters of the ocean. This beautiful and biologically complex forest is teeming with life. The kelp in the aquarium grows on an average of four inches a day and requires weekly underwater gardening by scuba divers who untangle and trim the fast-growing plants.
To keep the plants healthy, 2,000 gallons of seawater per minute is pumped through the exhibit and a specially designed surge machine creates a constant water movement that kelp need to survive. One of the most popular exhibits is the sea otter tank on the second floor. Here, visitors enjoy the antics of these playful southern sea otters as they romp, tumble, and wrestle like they do in the wild. A crowd often gathers to watch the feeding of the five rescued animals. For 35 years, the aquarium has been the epicenter of sea otter recovery. The aquarium runs a surrogate sea otter program. The five non-releasable female sea otters at the aquarium act as surrogate mothers to rescued sea otter pups that they raise as their own. By teaching these pups the skills needed to be sea otters in the wild, like grooming and foraging. After this training, the rescued pups are able to be released back into the wild and survive. The sea otter named Rosa is highlighted on the aquarium's website for her many years of efforts as a surrogate mom. She has raised over 15 pups that have been returned to the wild. The largest exhibit in the aquarium is the open sea. Located on the second floor, it is a place where tunas speed past, sardines swarm in huge glittering schools, and sea turtles swim lazily across the 90-foot window. There are a number of bird species at the aquarium. In the splash zone area, a colony of African penguins is one of the must-see exhibits. These stout little birds are endlessly entertaining as they careen, feed, sleep, and waddle and swim. All the birds are part of the species survival plan for endangered species of the African penguin. African penguins live in cold currents along the South African coast in a climate similar to that of Monterey. Another rescued bird is the Laysan albatross. This bird was found 17 years ago at four months old with a broken wing. It has been cared for by the aquarium staff ever since. The aquarium sits perched on a ledge of Monterey Bay. The expansive deck area offers a great vantage point to spot wildlife from sea otters to humpback whales. Telescopes and binoculars are provided by the aquarium staff that allow you to closely look at the diversity of the bay life where you might spot birds, sea otters, seals, sea lions, and even a whale in the right season. Monterey Bay is part of the National Marine Sanctuary, stretching from Marin County to Cambria, California. Encompassing a shoreline a length of 276 miles.
From addressing climate change to ending plastic pollution, protecting the ecosystems and improving seafood sustainability, the aquarium helps preserve the oceans for future generations. Through exhibits and educational material, the biggest threats facing the ocean today are being addressed. The exhibits on plastic pollution highlights the staggering magnitude of the problem and its impact on ocean wildlife. Artwork created by discarded plastic products is on display to allow the public to understand the types of plastic pollution that can be found in the ocean. The Monterey Bay Aquarium is a world-class facility devoted to education, research, and sustainable future of the ocean. On the average, the aquarium is visited by 1.8 million people per year. This video provides only a small snapshot of why it is so popular.